comprehension box allows pupils to apply their comprehension skills across a range of text types. The comprehension skills really need to be taught explicitly and the comprehension box allows pupils to achieve this. The national curriculum places a huge emphasis on comprehension skills and the English programmes of study has particular objectives for each year group. Year three and four are the same and year five and six are the same. But progress is made through the types of texts that pupils are reading and the difficulty and complexity of the questions. The comprehension box allows pupils to read a wide range of text types so that they're applying their comprehension skills across a range of reading material. The strategies presented by the comprehension box allow pupils to practice a wide range of questions Questions such as predicting what might happen or summarising for more than one paragraph, inferring characters' thoughts and feelings and finding the difference between fact and opinion. All of these allow pupils to constantly practise their reading comprehension skills. And there's a bonus in terms of the comprehension box for teachers too. It means that we've got a range of differentiated materials for teachers to access it's a flexible resource and also the real bonus is that it's a real time saver for teachers. The benefit of using the comprehension box in my classroom is that I can use it in a variety of ways. For instance, I can do a whole class input where I model a specific skill, we read the text together and then the children can work independently on their groups looking at different cards and then they can do this independently. I also use it in a guided group where I or my TA, we read the text with them and we answer the questions in a more supportive and collaborative environment. The comprehension box is extremely easy for teachers to use. There's little planning and preparation involved on my behalf because all the resources, all the planning, all the differentiation and the assessment is readily available for me to use. So all I have to do is direct the children to the correct ability and correct colour card for them to do independently. In terms of planning, the progression guide shows me which cards tackle which skill. For instance, if I'm looking at the skill of inferring, I will, I will look at the progression guide to see which card looks at inferring and I'll use that in my planning. Likewise, the progression guide also shows me which genre the specific text type and the card is, which is excellent for my planning because if I'm doing a unit on reports, I can look at the progression guide and see which cards have reports and I can use that and we can look at that in my lessons. The children love the comprehension box so much because it is accessible, it's easy to use and they really enjoy the ownership of marking their work themselves rather than the teacher explaining the answers to them. They really enjoy the artwork and are stimulated by the big titles and the pictures around the text. Often we start the lesson by predicting what the text might be just simply based on the title and on the pictures themselves. The comprehension box is used in year five in a variety of ways. We use it every week uh, when we teach a comprehension lesson. Uh, each group is allowed to work on it independently and that's rotated around each group so everybody gets a chance to work on it. Uh, it's also used by my LSA for interventions in an afternoon uh, and in addition to that it's often used as an extension if children finish other comprehension work they're then allowed to go and pick from the comprehension box. The children all know what colour cards they're on and where they are and they're able to do that totally independently. The comprehension box is really easy to use. It doesn't take um, any setting up. When we introduced it in year five, the first time each group used it, an adult sat with them. Uh, it took them 10 minutes perhaps to get the hang of it. They can all mark their own work and they all then record that on the cards that are provided. The LSAs were able to use it straight away. They didn't need any training on it either. And I know it's used throughout the school um, by a variety of ages and abilities of children very easily. The comprehension box is a great resource in the classroom because it's already differentiated for you. Um, children of a wide range of abilities are able to access it and use it independently um, very easily. The colour coding is very easy for the children to see and to use uh, and this allows the teacher to ensure all the children can be involved in all the activities. Um, even within a colour band there's a huge variety of texts, some they find trickier, some they find easier, but this allows the children to be uh, both supported and extended at the same time.
In the box within each colour band there is quite a wide variety of texts, both fiction and non-fiction, and they also presented uh, quite differently. The children seem to like uh, and enjoy all the different types of texts when they're choosing a card that doesn't seem to be a particular text that's favourite. And it's really important that the children are exposed to this wide variety of texts, um, both fiction and non-fiction. I have to say, of all the resources, this is definitely one of the most popular in our classroom. The children do enjoy using it.